since we started this channel a few years ago, I've been very fortunate to have some folks that have some larger fishing channels feature retro bassin. Been on a few live streams and even got to beat the bank with one of my personal favorites, Realistic Fishing. It is pretty wild to think that we are on the cusp of 17,000 bass and buds out there and uh, I am absolutely so thankful for each and every one of you guys who tunes in each week. Well today on Retro Bass and hopefully we're going to pass it forward a little bit and I'm going to talk about the top 10 channels that are smaller than mine that you should be following. And by the way, if this is your first time here at Retro Bass and, and you like to fish it old school, talking about classic rods, reels, lures, and equipment from fishing days gone past, well, stick around, consider subscribing, and be sure to hit that bell icon. Otherwise, you won't know when you post a new video, just like this one. Retro Bass and kicking some ass and wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray-Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40-year-old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Out on the bass boat, making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin'. Okay, we are going to run through these channels from biggest to smallest subscriber count and I will be sure to drop information for each channel down below in the video description. Well, first on the list is Lowbrow Fishing, a channel started in January of 2022 that already has over 200 videos and 2,000 subscribers. Unlike channels dedicated to $100,000 bass boats and enough high-end equipment to facilitate a moon landing, Lowbrow focuses on the everyman angler and talks about basic techniques with basic gear, often fishing on foot. Lowbrow is a regular contributor to the Bass and Bud comment section and as he often says on his own channel, technique over tackle. If you're a fan of retro bass, you've likely heard of John and Lindia over at Small Water Charters. Longtime friends of the channel, Small Water Charters is an Okeechobee based charter service that specializes in fishing some of the most primo waters in Central Florida. Since we moved the Retro Bassin show to the Sunshine State, you can believe that we've got some Small Water Charters collaborations in the works. But in case you haven't already, head on over and give them a sub. Uh, they are just under 2,000 subscribers, and I would love to see John and Lindia hit that milestone. As I've mentioned on this channel before, the Bass Fishing Archives website was a big inspiration for starting this channel. Whenever I would scour the internet for information on a vintage or discontinued lure, often I would land on the Bass Fishing Archives website either looking at an article written by Terry Battisti or an ad that he scanned and put up. Well, since then, Terry and I have become friends, and lucky for you guys, Terry has two different YouTube channels, each dedicated to pumping out old school content. The first is the video format of the Bass Fishing Archives, and I talked to Terry last night, and he said he's got some great videos in the hopper. The second is a new podcast that Terry does with outdoor writer Ken Duke called The Big Bass Podcast. I'll drop links to those both below and be sure to tune in to this channel to see a little Retro Bass and Bass Fishing Archives collab in the very near future. I've only gotten to fish with Ted Lincoln from Ted Lincoln's Fishing Life one time but based on the response of those couple videos, you better believe that old Retro Bassin and the Gainesville-based Ted Lincoln will be doing some collaborations in the very near future. Ted fishes Central Florida out of his 1985 Sea Nymph, a boat which he actually purchased with his father. Tune into Ted Lincoln's Bite of the Day to see him catch some absolute monster bass out of Florida, and definitely keep your eye out for old Retro in the near future. 
Angler Archaeology, aka Big Minnow Mike, was an early subscriber to the Retro Bassin channel and remains a mainstay on my Instagram feed. Whether he is flipping through a vintage fishing catalog, showing off his own collection of old school gold, or lure hunting at a local estate sale, old Angler Archaeology is definitely worth a follow. And in case you didn't notice, Mike is just about 65 subscribers away from that all-important YouTube milestone of 1K subscribers. You may not have heard of the next entry on this list, but make no mistake about it, Coastal Fever TV is my kind of fishing channel. Hosted by Doc, he specializes in bank fishing in the Fort Lauderdale, Florida area, and you better believe old Doc and I have some plans to get on some peacock bass with retro lures. You can also catch Coastal Fever TV live streaming with small water charters most Friday nights, and be sure to tell them old retro sent you. The next channel I can only describe as ASMR for fishermen. Jay is outdoorsy, aka Jay Worth is a second generation jig tire who makes some of the most beautiful creations out of feather, hair, and lead you've ever seen. If you're lucky enough to live in the US Northeast, you might see some of Jay's creations for sale in local tackle shops. But if not, be sure to tune in to his channel to watch his meticulous jig tying process from start to finish. It is hard to fathom that this little project I call the Retro Bassin Show is on the cusp of 17,000 subscribers. Well, I can say with confidence, the host of this next channel was definitely one of our first 25. And if you have not seen Bassin 101, boy, you are in for an old school treat. While Bassin 101 host Todd and I definitely share an affinity for old school tackle, I would say that his channel has a little bit more of a slant toward fishing technique. If you're looking for tips and tricks on how to fish old school lures like the Herbreed Sluggo, the Pose Nervous Miracle, or the Whopper Stopper Hellbender, well, you are in the right place. It is a shame I only got to spend a few short hours with Daniel and his crew over at Dee's Tackle Box on my cross-country journey from Texas to Florida. I easily could have spent a week pouring over Daniel's amazing collection of vintage and discontinued bass fishing tackle and lures, but lucky for you, Daniel added a YouTube channel to his already impressive presence on both Instagram and Facebook. Hopefully Daniel and I will catch up the next time I am in Texas, but in the meantime, head on over to Dee's Tackle Box and give him a sub. Look to the comments section of just about any video on this channel, and you're likely to find a pinned comment from Stumpjack Outdoors, aka David Smith. Dave is a longtime contributor to the Retro Bassin Show, and I don't use that term lightly. His thought-provoking, well-thought-out comments definitely enrich the Retro Bassin channel, and it's no surprise that he's also turned into an outdoor writer writing for Bass Fishing Archives. The Stumpjack Outdoors channel has been up for a few years now, but after we'll say a little gentle prodding from old retro, David has assured me he is going to start cranking out some fresh content more in line with his Bass Fishing Archives contributions. And I, for one, can't wait to see it. Well, thanks again for tuning in to this episode of Retro Bassin, and hopefully you enjoyed the top 10 channels that I think Bassin Buds would most like to subscribe to. I've got a feeling this is not going to be the only installment in this series, so by all means, if you've got a channel or you know somebody that's got a channel that you think we would like, please drop it down below in the comments section. And in the meantime, if you're looking for some more old school content, you can click right here. Otherwise, I will see you right back here, same time, same place. And until then, keep that carpet side up, and definitely, fish it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules, welcome to Retro Bassin.